Hi everyone and welcome to this new tutorial. Today we'll see how to write good results section. Our previous video focused on how to write a good method section and if you missed it, please find the link in the description. Today we'll mainly focus on how to write a good results section by covering the following aspect. Expressing sequence, frequency, quantity and causality. As usual, let's start with the first point, which is expressing sequence. Why is it important to express time sequence? Before answering this question, let's recall that time sequence here simply refers to the duration and order of an appearance of an event. So, the lack of time sequence while discussing the results generally cause two practical difficulties. The first one is that when reading your paper, other researchers will have a hard time repeating your work with a decent degree of accuracy. The second difficulty is that the lack of sequence will alter the logic flow and render the paper difficult to follow. How to overcome these two difficulties? Simply by using words and expressions that communicate time sequence. We'll see an example later. Keep in mind that the key is to give the reader a clear understanding of your work to the extent of repeating it without difficulties. As long as you do that, you're good. Let's move on to the second point, which is expressing frequency. Here also, there are two main difficulties. The first one is to communicate how often a particular event or results occurred. The second one is all about enabling your readers to compare the results with yours. This is achieved via using frequency modifiers. We'll see how to use them in the next slide. Regarding the third point, which is expressing quantity, the principle remains the same. In other words, while commenting your results, specific expressions must be used to influence the way readers perceive your work. Let's see how it's done in practice. Underlined in red, you have some expressions that telegraph quantity. Similarly, in blue, we have some expressions that communicate sequence, while in green, we have a word used to express frequency. Basically, this is how it works. Just spend a few more minutes on these examples is quite easy to understand. This brings us to the last critical aspect of the results section, which is expressing causality. The main difficulties are indicating connections or relationships between specific events and establishing causal connections between them. The key here is to use verbs or expressions that communicate causal connections such as be related to, be triggered by. At the end of the day, your results section must integrate the following components. Again, we're using this example to show you how the authors managed to integrate them into their results section. This example was extracted from the following article, Soil Erosion by a Continuous Water Jet. Feel free to download it if necessary. In the first component, the thing to do is to revisit the research objectives. This is what the author did here in yellow. After that, you should expand the methodology. This is what was done here in green. Then you should present a general overview of the results. This is what they did here in red. The second component, the first step is to invite the readers to view results. This is what they did here in blue. The second step involves providing more details about your results. Then the third and fourth steps of the second component involve comparing your results and model with results in other research. The third component is about discussing possible problems with your results, while the last component is about presenting possible implications. Well, now let's see what you should do and you shouldn't do in the results section. Obviously, you must illustrate the results of graphs and tables. Then you should focus on singularities of the findings and stress the practical relevance of the results. Don't just describe obvious facts that the reader can see by himself or herself from your curves. This is not good practice. 
After completing this stage, you can tell yourself you're almost there. Then move to the next section, that is discussion and or conclusion. We'll discuss this part in the next video. That's all for today. Hope you've learned something from this video. Check out our next video and don't forget to subscribe. Thank you.